Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back. So, perhaps you're in love with someone, then you're curious as to whether they feel the same way about you, but they haven't quite said those three magic words. What's holding them back? Maybe they haven't yet fallen in love with you, but they appear to like you enough that love could be on the horizon. Well, there are a few psychological secrets that can boost the likelihood of love in your future. What are they, you may ask? Watch to find out. Here are six psychological secrets to make anyone fall deeply in love with you. Number one, make good eye contact. Hybrid psychologist Zick Rubin conducted a study where he recorded how much time lovers would spend looking into each other's eyes. He found that individuals who are not in love looked at each other 30 to 60% of the time. While those couples deeply in love, they stared into each other's eyes 75% of the time when talking. And when someone else entered the room or interrupted them, they were much slower to turn away from their partner's gaze. A little secret to really getting someone to consider these feelings of love for you, look into their eyes 75% of the time. The brain remembers the last time someone they loved stared at them in the same way. They will associate this stare with feelings of love. Why? This lovely memory causes a release of phenylethylamine, which is known as a love drug. Phenylethylamine is released in the brain when someone falls in love. The chemical too mimics the brain chemistry of someone who is deeply in love. Chocolate contains phenylethylamine, which is probably why it's historically been considered an aphrodisiac. It's also probably the reason we love chocolate so much. Number two, choose a date location with dim lights. When deciding the location of your next date, it might be a good idea to pick a location with dim lighting. In a significant research study published in the journal Scientific American, researchers showed male subjects two photographs of the same woman. In one of the images, researchers changed the size of her pupils to be faintly larger, while the other image was adjusted so that she had smaller pupils. None of the men reported noticing the slight change, but the men described the woman with small pupils as cold, hard, and selfish. The woman with larger pupils was described as soft, more feminine, and pretty. Many further studies have had similar results. When it comes to women's preferences on pupil size, studies suggest that they are similar in some ways. Findings appear to suggest that women who are attracted to nice guys are attracted to medium-sized pupils, while those who like bad boys are attracted to larger pupils. Uh, well, obviously we can't control the size of our pupils, but dimming the lights will expand them. A romantic candlelight dinner and your partner may feel even more attraction for you, especially if there's chocolate involved. Number three, don't be afraid to smile. When you feel like smiling, don't be afraid to let those pearly whites show. A study published in the Bulletin of Psychonomic Society found smiling might just make you more likable. According to the study, women in the experiment who smiled 70% of the time were seen as more interpersonally attractive than women who seldom smiled. So while you may think a good old lip pout is the way to go, a smile may be even better. Number four, casually touch them often. In an experiment from the University of Mississippi and Rhodes College, researchers had waitresses briefly touch customers on the hand or shoulders in a controlled yet natural setting. The waitresses who casually touched their customers when returning change received a significantly larger tip than those who did not. Another study published in Psychologically Press, Taylor and Francis Group, had men stand on the corner of a street and attempt to talk to women who would walk by. The men were more successful in starting a conversation with the women when they lightly touched the woman on the forearm for one second. As the researchers state, our results showed that a man's courtship solicitations are more favorably accepted by a woman when the request is accompanied by light tactile contact. An intimate touch on the arm here and caress there may just leave your partner even more romantically drawn to you. Number five, have meaningful discussions about yourself and them. Research from Harvard found that deep conversations and meaningfully talking about yourself can help activate the very same regions of your brain that delicious food or sex activates. The study states that over a 45 minute period, subjects paired carried out self-disclosure and relationship building tasks that gradually escalated in intensity. Study one found greater post-interaction closeness with these tasks versus comparable small talk tasks. So while small talk is fine every now and then, when you're on a romantic date, a more meaningful discussion may excite them more. You know, more than the weather. 
When you both open up and reveal your true emotions, your partner may fall in love with the deep, engaging conversations you have together instead. And number six, have a good sense of humor. Everybody loves to laugh, and a little sense of humor can heighten any relationship. Researchers from Illinois State University and DePaul University found in their study that when you use humor when getting to know an acquaintance at first, that individual has a better chance of liking you more. They even found that engaging in funny tasks may raise romantic attraction. Mm, sounds like a fun date may be the way to go. Cracking a joke under dim candlelight with chocolate? <laughs> they may just fall in love with you. So, do you see love in your future with these habits? Who are you in love with? Share with us your story in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend or someone you like or love. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.